And then when they get to a certain level, I pull them and I put them upside down on the table next to me. That way they're in order as they are going into the folder on the computer. Welcome to Widget Wednesday. Every Wednesday, or bi-weekly, every other week on a Wednesday, you're going to see a short video like this. They'll be on different subjects and tools about postcard, reselling postcards and stuff like that. Today is a totally unscripted video. I didn't even put it too much forethought into it because I do this all the time. And if you get into postcards, you're going to do the same thing. It's scanning postcards to get the photos ready for eBay. A lot of different ways to do it. I'll show you the way I do it, the, my little process. Not a lot of thought into it, it's just putting them in a scanner and getting them into a comp computer. I got this stack here and I said, I'm going to do a video for Widget Wednesday just to walk through my process and what I do. What is it? I don't know, 200 cards, 250 cards in this stack here. What do you think? We'll find out when I go to count them. The scanner will actually count. Now it does the front and back, so you got to divide by two. But what I usually do is I'm not a big sorter. I, I, I'm not a big collector. I'm not going to put all the North Carolinas and all the Californians sit there for an hour or so and do all that. I'm just going to list them as they go. I like to put a variety up. So that way, when they get them in their safe searches and they see new stuff, it's all different ones, is my thinking. It's the way I like to do it. Plus, I sort as I list. You can do the work up front or you can do the work as you list. It's the same work. It's no right, it's not going to get me an extra sale. It's just going to. I, I just not a sorter so I usually go through and I flip through and I look at the cards just to make sure there's no metal add-on sleeves glitter just a real quick look and, you know nothing's in in these so I didn't I didn't see anything I didn't feel anything on there on these cards but I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the process of getting the scanner ready and as I scan them I'm going to be capturing the screen on what's going through the Epson software and I'll flip back and forth and at the end we'll talk a little bit more about it but I just thought this would be a quick video just to show you what I do when I go to scan a stack of postcards. Now a lot of times I'll sit down and scan for a couple of hours and do three four boxes of postcards and I've had 5,000 postcards in the Epson software before I saved it to a folder so there's really no limitation that I saw yet where you got to stop after 100 and save it and do stuff. I just let it go and we'll we'll see all that. So let's go get started on scanning this little stack of postcards for today. So now we're going to get into the scanner part of it. So I got the scanner turned on. It goes to its little routine. It takes a minute or two to connect to the computer. But this is the 580W, Epson 580W. The W means wireless. So this isn't connected in the back here on a cable to my computer. It's using my in-house Wi-Fi. Now what I like to do is I turn it on and then I, I clean it. I pull the tray out. It's got this little thing right here for what size paper you're using and it can extend out and stuff like that. So you keep it in, roll this out so the cards don't go all over. And what I like to do when I start a scan session is I like to clean up the scanner. And the first thing I do is I got this little ball here. I don't use compressed air. I think it's too forceful sometimes. Even on computers, I use it to blow it out this way. I don't try to push stuff in there. And it, there's no cost to it. You just buy a little dollar, two dollar thing and it blows out all the stuff. And then you get it up here. You get those things out. You, you want to make sure you get all the dust out of it as you can so you don't get it on the lenses. This makes for keeping it clean things to work. And then I have these little sight saver things for my eyeglasses. And they have alcohol on them and stuff. And I wipe that across the lenses. The bottom one. And then also the top one. Then I wipe it on the wheels and I get the dust out of here. And try to get all this stuff just keep it clean. If you keep it clean, this shouldn't take that long at all to get everything all nice and dust free. And then you can do the LCD screen from your fingerprints, the front. Just keep everything 
nice and clean. If you don't, that's where people run into problems. I've seen some real dust bunnies over my years of computers. Dust can become conductive in computers. So you want to take it out and clean your screen once in a while. But once you're done, you just throw that away and it's ready to go. Now we're doing this stack of postcards, like I said. I, I say there's probably 170 cards here. What do you think? Just a guess. I, I, I really suck at that. How many gumballs in a jar or how many marbles in a jar. So let's see where we end up uh, with that. But what I like to do is I, I like to take a small stack. And I'm not a big sorter, like I said. I don't care if they're upside down, whatever. I'll show you what I do with that. You can do it, in the, do it here beforehand. Or you can do it in the Epson software. Or you can rotate them in the eBay when you list them, and that's where I do it. So the work is the same no matter where you do it. There's no right or wrong way. But I usually set the guy to here, put a small stack in here to beep, and I click computer. And you got one sided or two sided. I keep it two sided, and I hit start. And I turn the software on the computer. And once it gets going okay, I'll start adding some postcards on my first round. And as you see, they're just coming out nice and nice and a good speed 400 dpi is a good speed it's not rushing them out it's not too slow and it's slow enough where i can manage it i'm not rushing to move cards out of the way and so i, I put a nice little stack in this hopper the 400 has guides so you can put about 20 cards and there's no guides in here so you can load them up to the edge as long as they don't get too heavy the wheels will still be able to grab them and as you'll notice i'll keep doing that i'll just keep adding cards and then when they get to a certain level, I pull them, and I put them upside down on the table next to me. That way they're in order as they are going into the folder on the computer. Then I'll add another little stack. And you notice this one's probably not the right way, but it doesn't matter to me. Now, you can put postcards this way through, but I, I tend to put them sideways. I don't know. It, I don't think there's a right or wrong way, but it comes out a little bit sideways on there. And there's no damage to cards because the way it's going through these scanners is not a 90 degree. It's kind of a 45. It kind of rolls right out. And I just take another stack. Where are we at? 40 cards done. And I just add a few more and just keep them going. Usually I'll sit down for a couple hours and do two, three boxes of cards and scan them up. That way I don't have to do them for a month or so as I list and just get them out of the way. And then I'll put a bigger stack in here since I know it's going pretty good. And it just keeps going. But I really like the scanner. It, it's worked well. I, as you notice, I haven't had any jam ups. It will jam up if I put too many up here or I stack them in or it catches a card that's really heavy embossed or something like that once in a while, the real thin ones. And then you just, it'll tell you, then you just got to stop, pull the cards out, open it, pull, fix it, the stack of cards and close it and start where you stopped. But I always pull them out when it gets, whoa, I hit the camera. Sorry about that. And then I just keep pulling them off the tray so the tray doesn't get too full. Then I put another stack in there. And nice, even pace. It just goes through. Sometimes I'll put a movie on. All I'm doing is just listen to it. But I just got my chair rolled up here next to the scanner and a little work table next to me. And we're already at 80 cards done. Now if they get a little skewed like this, you can always tap them. These guys I don't make real tight. I just make sure it's kind of in the center uh, to the size of the card because it centers it for you. But if you make them too tight, then they won't slide through and the wheels won't be able to grab them. But if it gets a little skewed, there's stuff in the software and the settings on Ko-Fi I have for the 580 and the 400. It will fix that skewed. If it's skewed up just a little bit, it'll recenter it for you. And then here's another stack done. We're at 90 cards. We're almost at 200, so 100 cards done. Wonder what this number will come out to be. What'd you guys guess? I said 170, I think. And then you put, I don't stack, I just kind of lay them in there real nice and easy because if you push them too hard, then they get jammed up and the wheels can't grab them and you got to kind of play with them. The Scan Snap Fujitsu worked the same way. Uh, everything worked fine. But as you'll see, it doesn't put a border on. But I like these Epsons when I moved from the Fujitsu to here. And the reason I moved is 
I use that scan snap forever and I everybody using the Epsons and I just really like these and this is the last of the cards that's the last of the stack let's see what we're gonna get we're at 250 front and back so 125 cards done so far and you just have to scoot this thing up every once in a while because it keeps going backwards I find if I keep them this way it's easier to grab out of there like I just grab them keep them in order sometimes they'll get stuck on a stamp edge and it'll push this back then you just got to kind of grab them out of there that's what causes that in there like this one's a little skewed I'll just tap it a little real lightly and put it on there but it takes the stamps it takes everything and right now it's actually being fed into the computer over here and we're gonna go take a look at that and I've been jumping back and forth on the screen to show you here the computer as I talked and did sing. Now you've seen it pause right there it's gonna pause once in a while every two to four seconds I, mean, I think it's just doing memory allocation catching up uh, giving taking a breath and I pulled that stack out just about done I didn't think you want me to sit here and show you how I scan a thousand postcards so I, I just pulled a small stack out but I, I thought it'd be an off-the-cuff video a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about scanning it's not that hard to keep these clean and stuff like that that that's the main thing keep them clean change the rollers when they tell you if you start having problems with the feed and see how many counts you've got scans you've done it might be the rollers that you need to replace they make the kit for the front roller and the back roller they're really easy to put on and you can find a youtube video how to do it once this one's ready to do or the, my 400 i'll do a video but right now they don't need them yet but i, I work this one to death all the time and also little guides up here if you have larger paper all this goes up too but to open it you just press this little button over here and we're almost done 356 front and back 360 150 125 so 360 so what 150 175 is basically the number of cards then it goes back to the screen so you can start again what I usually do is I close it get rid of any dust or paper I can see here try I try to keep it as clean as possible all the time so the stuff tends to grow hope I hit the camera again all right so we just scanned together this whole stack of postcards in less what five ten minutes not even that I don't know I'm not good with time either but that those stacks there now I'm going to take you over to the computer and do a little voiceover on what I see with the software and what I do with it from there. Okay, so this is the software. Everything we just scanned is on the, this is Epson Scan Smart, is what it is, Epson Scan Smart. All of my scanners are in here. So if I turn on the 400, I can use the same software. My 60W, all the Epsons are in here. All the cards that we scanned are right over here. Now let me check the first one in the stack. Yep, that's the first one in the stack, and that's the second one. So they're in order. Never had a problem with that. But if you notice, as we get down, there's some that are sideways, like this one, if you notice. I can either rotate it here, or I can do it in Epson, or in eBay, or I could have done it before I scanned. It's the same work, no matter where you do it. I'm just not going to sit down and go through the cards. It's like this one I can do it here and the most you have to turn these is three times clicks so I, I I do it here but some people like to do it up front and that's fine and everything but a lot of these I'm not gonna go through here and change all these and do that just so it's easier on eBay when I can do it when I'm touching the card but some of these cards I don't know if I will, will list but I don't even know what's in this stack like here's some duplicates that's the same one and stuff like that I if it's not a good card I'll, I'll I'll see what I can do with it. Maybe one listing and four four in there. There's some things going on. A lot of these are like here's some more duplicates. I didn't take I take them out as I go through the stack and I'll see what I want to do with them. Here's some more duplicates. So somebody went through and put all these together. But once they're all in here, you'll see the picture over here. You hit next down here on the bottom right where my mouse is. You hit next and then you hit save. 
Now, it's going to have a document name. I just leave it whatever it is. And I save mine as JPEG. And then you can pick the folder. With all the cards we got in this one scan session, I can go out there and let's put it on, let's say, my desktop. And we're going to make it. I can right-click here, New Folder, Test, Scan, Postcards. Do that. Double click. I'm I'm in that folder now. It's desktop test scan there. I select the folder. So right here you double check to make sure it's there. JPEG document. And then I hit save. And then it'll go through processing what we just scanned into that folder. And we're going to take a look and see if it's in order. So when I go to list on eBay, that's the full and I got this stack of cards. This is the stack that I'm going to pull from, then this is the folder I'm going to use. They're going to be right in order. And once I list the postcard, I delete the photo. There's no reason I can see to keep my scans because I can do them so quick in there. And I'm never going to be able to go back and put them back in listings if eBay loses them or whatever. It's, it, that'd be just a nightmare. I would just take the box and rescan them and go for that. So it's done processing. Let's take a look at the folder. Here they all are, right in order. There's The first one is up here. Yep, that's the cherry trees. Here's the seal. Everything right there, and it says we had 364 in there. So everything's ready to go. I put the stack in front of me. I pull off the top. It's this photo right here. I click this one. I hold down the control key, hit that one, drag it to eBay, and move on with my listing. If I need to rotate them, I do them in eBay. But that's the process of scanning. Now let me go back in the video and uh, give you a summary and close this out. So that's the scanning session. That's what I do. I grab a stack of postcards, put them in the scanner, put them in a folder, and I know where they're at. Usually I do thousands at a time. I'll do three or four thousand and get those out of the way. About a, I did it for the year and I went through and I scanned all the boxes on one video. But if I have a stack like here, these are special ones that I got that I need to go through and do a little deep dive on. I'll put those in there and I'll put them in my special folder and that's where those go. But that's all there is to scanning. I, it's the easiest part of postcards is to scan. I wouldn't make it hard. I'm not a sorter. A lot of people are. I'm not going to sit down for hours and put all the North Carolinas and get all this collating done. I do it as I list. I found that's just better for me. But the way you do it is the way you do it. Whatever works for you to make it efficient as possible. Because with the cards I do, I can't spend a lot of time because time is money. I want to get as many cards done as I can. And this is the way I've done it over time. Hope this helps. That's all I got for today. Just a off-the-cuff video on scanning postcards and Widget Wednesday. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.